CBS 2's Steve Langford was the first reporter on the scene. He's been talking all day to people who watched the tragedy unfold. Steve. New York, this city of skyscrapers, cannot seem to shake a certain fear of heights involving construction cranes. This catastrophic site, a symbol of the building boom in Tribeca that has made a certain apocalyptic vision here come tragically true. This was a disaster waiting to happen. Bruce Ehrman lives right on the block where the crane has loomed over the neighborhood in recent days. What he heard and saw this morning reminds him of a dark day in September 15 years ago. It was the same feeling physically of shaking as 9-11, only far, far worse. Uh, I thought our building was going to collapse. It looks like something out of a movie set. Brian O'Rourke lives right in front of where the crane was planted until it toppled from about 500 feet up. He was out this morning when he got a terrified call from his wife at home. She called me and said, it fell, and I knew what she meant. We feel it. Right. I mean, we feel that thing like like earthquake. Residents and workers here felt the crane collapse as much as they saw it. You heard the boom and then you know you run to the windows and then you see a, I see a crane falling on on the street. Some present at the scene scrambled to help. We all ran to help. All of us tried to run to help and then we saw a man trapped but they wouldn't let us go no farther. The quaint quiet cobblestone streets of Tribeca will echo to the sounds of this tragedy for a long time to come. Live in Tribeca, Steve Langford, CBS 2 News. Steve, thank you.